Hey guys, thanks for coming back to Saltiness Isn't Bliss to check out another tasty recipe. Tonight I will be whipping up some mashed potato stuffed meatloaf. So my real recipe, uh, I use one pound of ground beef. I don't have ground beef in the house right now. All I had on hand was ground bison. Um, it's a pound as well, so I'm just gonna try that. I've actually never made the recipe with this, so hopefully it turns out just as tasty as the ground beef. But just so you know, if bison's not your thing or you can't find it, you can just go with ground beef. So we are gonna start with one pound of that. Add in two raw eggs that I've kind of mixed up with a fork here. One quarter teaspoon of ground pepper. One eighth cup of dried parsley, <clears throat> eight ounces of tomato sauce, a half a cup of ketchup. I was able to find no salt added ketchup, so zero sodium in that, which is great. So the last thing we're gonna add into our meat mixture for our meatloaf is some corn check cereal. So we use two cups which I've already measured out into this gallon Ziploc, sealed, got all the air out. Then I just use the back of my measuring cup and I just pound that out so that they're in very fine, small pieces. And once it looks like they're all crushed up, we're just gonna pour that right into the bowl Unfortunately, this is where all the salt is hiding. Now we're gonna mix this super well. You can mix with your hands, you can mix with a spoon, whatever you're comfortable with. Mix it all up till it's nice and blended and then we will start putting it in our pan. In the meantime, we can preheat our oven to 375 and I'll be right back. All right, my meat mixture is all mixed thanks to my cameraman who wanted a little shout out there for doing the uh, heavy lifting. Um, so now half of this bowl is going to go directly into a heavily sprayed uh, with cooking spray pan. So I am just going to dump that in there. I just kind of eyeball half. And then just use the back of the spoon, your hand, a spatula to spread that out evenly. As you spread, you'll kind of notice whether you need to add a little more or not. And I just kind of rotate this around as I do it. All right, so I got one half of my meat mixture uh, smoothed out into my pan here. I am gonna top that now with a layer of mashed potatoes. So these are prepared homemade mashed potatoes. If you wanna see how I do that, what I add in there to keep it salt free, check out my Salisbury steak video. I feature my whipped mashed potatoes in there and I'll give you all the measurements. Um, if you watch that, <laughs> when you watch that video, in the description below will be all the ingredients and measurements for the mashed potatoes. So my tip here is rather than just put a big clump in the middle, I try to spread it out because it's a little tricky to spread the mashed potatoes on the meat mixture. They kind of fight against it. So if I spread it out like this, it goes a little bit easier because they're not all in one spot. All right guys, so I'm just very gently here taking the back of the spoon, spreading these mashed potatoes as evenly as I can over the meat. Okay guys, so sorry, ran out of cooking spray, had to get some more. So uh, plop the rest of the meat onto the wax paper that's sprayed, and then I just smooth it out with the back of the spoon and I try to get it as close to the shape I need it to be to go on top of there as best I can. So then I can just plop it from the counter right on top and because that cooking spray is on there, it comes off real nice and easy. Plop it directly on. Like I said, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I haven't figured out how to pick it up that works. But at any rate, maybe if I get my hand underneath there. There we go. And then I just kind of plop it on there. That went okay, I didn't have it lined up right, but so then I just take my spoon, fix what's not lined up right, 
and then it'll be ready to go in the oven. So it's gonna go in a preheated 375 degree oven for 40 to 50 minutes. Because remember, your meat is all raw. So wanna make sure that meat cooks all the way through. All right, guys, there it is, all ready to go in the oven. So I will see you back in about 45 minutes. All right, guys, our meatloaf is all done. Look at how tasty that is. Got that little brown edge around it. Oh, the house just smells so good. Um, I am keeping it simple tonight. I'm just pairing it with a mini croissant that I've, put, that I've toasted and put some unsalted butter on. So now I'm going to get that piece out. My mouth is watering, <laughs> just putting it on the plate. And then I'm gonna just show you here when you scoop your fork in there, all the delicious layers that come pouring out of that slice. So that is my mashed potato stuffed meatloaf. I hope you will give it a try, and I so appreciate you spending some time with me in the kitchen. See you next time.